I came from like such a, a long way from medicine. Um, I mean, I started life on a chicken farm and a cattle farm. And so growing up in the North Georgia mountains, playing with chickens and cows doesn't translate to being a doctor. From the time I could walk, I was helping, you know, any way I could. It's just the way I've always been. I've, I've always kind of enjoyed solving puzzles and fixing things. That whole like diagnostic thinking really played well into medicine. In order to leave a career, you know, that's well established and, and, and you have a comfortable life with, um, to jump ship and start basically all over again and just be a full-time student and, and start in a new career, you need to have a pretty good idea that's what you want to do. But it took me so long to get there. I'm basically 10 years behind everybody else in my class. While I was on my medical mission trip in Haiti um, this year, um, ended up having to use my mechanic skills, my clinical skills, along with my leadership skills every day. So anesthesia seemed to me like it kind of combined everything that interests me. You're actually there in the patient's probably most dire hours. Um, you know, it's right before they go into like the OR to get a procedure done that they've probably never had before. They don't know for sure if they're going to come out of. Um, and so you've really got to be good at making connections quickly and having them trust you basically with their lives in a short period of time. I was, I was very intimidated by it, but as I went through classes and I gained more knowledge and got more experience with patients, uh, I think my confidence increased. After I finished my training, I would like to get back to Georgia, um, back close to where I grew up, because uh, it's still a rather underserved area, and you know I'd really like to be able to use the, my newfound financial means to help the people that brought me to where I am today.